What's up guys, it's Skyrunner here, and welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with me. So, alright, I actually, I have my team ready, though the sad part is I have not got around to actually EV train it as I thought I would. Uh, the work has been very, very hectic now that the vacation is starting up at my work. So a little small update about that, I'm not going to be able to do daily uploads from at least a month from now on. Uh, at best it's gonna be like, Wednesday, or at least Monday, Wednesday, Friday for sure. And I'm gonna try to do like multiple uploads if that's possible. Uh, I might actually upload like just talk and not actually a battle. Um, so I've been configuring to reconstruct uh, like my, uh, how I set up my um, battle week. So now we're gonna go at least for um, two weeks with the same type of themes. So besides that, I'm just gonna introduce Katie Yelly. Uh, she's a battler from uh, Pimp Night Chat and uh, She's bringing some really, really cool stuff, and uh, I mean, type lotion, always cool. i never seen Goldux, really glad to see that. Um, so I said she got the Sangus, which is going to be tough to bring it in. I myself is using a very defensive team, uh, with the old, uh, my old pokes, but I'm going with Girder, just a defensive wall. Sismitoad, Aromatherapist, Shift Tree, uh, the Music with the Barrier, Recall Mine setup, and uh, the Physical Pyro. So, no actual need for introduction here, just enjoy guys. So anyway, starting off here, I knew she had nothing that could take on Girder. Uh, she'll bring the stand, the cradle, and well, there is really nothing can do against me. Uh, she's gonna set up the stealth rocks, and I'm just gonna straight up and brain punch. I was kind of betting on her going for either energy ball, stuff like that. But yeah, did that did well over 50%, so she will actually decide to switch out to Alteria. And Alteria will definitely soak that brain punch rather well. But I do have the Ice Punch though, so I don't fear this guy. Until I saw the Calling Guard and like, oh no. Oh no, don't do this. But I get the Ice Punch off, and I freeze it. Yep. I am so skilled. Uh, so I actually decided to switch out to my Meowsip, because this is like my golden opportunity to actually set up and go for an easy sweep here. She'll fought off first turn, luckily for her, and actually luckily for me too, because that will be so awful if... Uh, I would want that battle because she was frozen. So yeah, I have no idea what kind of set it is. I'm just gonna set up my call mines. Uh, she'll recover obviously with the roost. And well, that's great, I guess. I mean, I am not in a good position at the moment, really. Um, because this thing actually wears toxic. And that will pretty much limit the time that I actually can attack with my Meow Stick. So I'm just gonna go for the barrier there. I still don't feel comfortable attacking this thing. So I'm going to set up one more time before I go for a spell power, just to see how much I really do. So anyway, that is third call mine and one bear up. So I'm actually very, very defensively bulky at this point. Dragon Claw won't do anything, though the Toxic will, well, obviously rack up her. And like I said, I'm going to try out to see how much spell power does. She actually decided to switch out to a Sangus and I'm firing my laser. Good day, sir, or ma'am. <laughs> so yeah, that one shot with Sangers right away. I feel real bad for Katie for that switching. So after this, she obviously bring her um, Primeape. I knew it was faster, but this one was Scarfed, so... Ugh. So that did well over 40% and puts me in a very bad position. And... Stan is gone! More laser power! Hey! Love stored power. I'm so glad that Meow Stick has that attack, because it's... Well, it's so... <laughs> People aren't just, just thinking about it at the time, it actually worked really well. I even won from this type lotion of that range. So, yeah, though sadly, the Toxic will actually wear me down here, and yeah, that really, really sucks because it could be a nice little sweep here with my Mavis Stick, obviously. So, anyway, I'm gonna bring Phoenix right away here, and I don't know what Goldux really do. I mean, she put up a Call Mind, but that is as far as it gets because I'll put up a Drain Punch here and do well over 70% here, and I will just finish her off with the Mach Punch there, so sorry Golduck, I really actually want to see what you're up to. So here's the Primeape, I know a close combat is coming my way and I'm gonna survive it, so I'm just gonna go for Dream Punch, when its defenses are lowered, it puts him in a position where he can't take it, it is simply not possible, so yeah, thank you Primeape. <laughs> So here's Alteria, and we got this position yet again. I'm gonna go for an Ice Punch, hoping for another Freeze. 
I don't even do more than half this time. So at this point I knew I can't really stay in, so I'm just gonna go to my best name, my shift tree, uh, which is uh, Scarfed, or no, it's Specs, with the Dark Pulse, because I kind of thought that, you know what, Dragon Claw won't do much, and I have the chance to actually flinch in her, which in case will actually take her out. So yeah, I feel kinda, 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 you know, mean for doing like this. I mean, Dragon Claw will do, that is almost 20% maybe. And she has like nowhere of actually taking this one out, so she will actually go for Toxic, pretty much letting me kill her actually. So that will actually be GG. So yeah, like you guys get, I think, I mean, I only had three battles that I won last week out of, what was that, I think 15 maybe? So, this was one of the few that actually, like I said, did really pay off. And this was actually how my wins looked like. Uh, where the opponent had like no way of actually like recovering after a few boosts with uh, the Meowsig. Obviously though, it's very predictable and uh, it only works a few times. Yeah, so as always guys, you know, thank you really for watching. Don't forget to leave a like. Uh, it really helps me out in reaching out to more people. Uh, I just want to explain a little about my feelings about this week, consider how much I lost. I don't really mind that I lose so many times because I learn a lot by losing, uh, and especially losing to you guys who've been watching me so much, because I actually I need to give you more credit than I really do. You're all fantastic battlers, and I'm really glad I get the experience with you know testing new stuff and obviously stuff that obviously isn't working like whole way. Uh, it did work against opponents that didn't tell like the grasp about the uh, metagame but against you guys me you're, you're really good and it has been a real honor to try to actually well win some battles against you and this was one, obviously one that really worked for me uh, so nevertheless guys thank you as always for watching and stay tuned to wednesday for a new upload so have a good day guys bye